Hi, welcome to this quick overview of workshop software and just some of the functionality that it can do for your business. We've designed this particular demonstration on the basis of a North American organization, but effectively this could be anywhere in the world, but this is particularly for those users and potential users in North America. Let's jump in there and have the quick overview of just some of the great features of workshop software. Workshop Software is an online software as a service and it can run in your web browser, on any device, a tablet, an iPad, anything like that, anywhere, anytime. You've got full access to it anywhere. So it has full functionality, things like being able to go into the booking diary and see all of your bookings and have, and have access to them on a month or by a week or on a daily basis, you've got full access to your booking diary. The job center is the area of the system where you're gonna manage all your jobs. You're gonna follow your workflow, who's booked in, who's checked in, what the status of the jobs, are. You can open up jobs in here and see the jobs, all of those sorts of things. Uh, it's really, really simple, quick and effective. You've got inspections and the inspections is where you can go and do uh, an inspection on a particular vehicle, attach it to a job, attach it to a booking and go and do a green, yellow, red sort of inspection. So you can do this red, yellow, green, you know, green, red, yellow sort of style, create your own inspections, do all that. You can email it to the customer. The customer can approve the work. The work automatically goes onto the job, all that sort of stuff. It's super simple and easy. You've got customer management, vehicle management. Customers can have as many vehicles as they want. You've got full vendor management and, you know, things like being able to do stock orders, you know, all of that sort of stuff. You can go and do a vendor stock order, a vendor invoice, vendor payment. There's products, uh, stock Stock take or cycle take, uh, cycle count, uh, service advisors, management. We've got integrations with a whole heap of things like our automotive integrations, Carfax, parts tech, tyre registration, tyre connect, vehicle visuals. There's a heap of accounting integrations and marketing integrations as well. The system's got a fully fledged application right across your auto shop from go to woe. So let's jump in there and just go and do some transaction. I'll show you just some of the stuff it can do. Okay, Mark's called us and we're going to need to go and do a booking and book that guy in. So we're going to go into customer bookings, right? We're going to go and search for the customer and it's Mark. We know that they're an existing customer or we could have simply pressed on the plus and gone and added him in. In this instance, there's a new vehicle. So I want to put in the license plate. I put that in and I click the search because that's a, a search to Carfax. Carfax is a free integration with workshop software. doesn't cost you anything. Pu beautiful. Being able to bring back things like the VIN, you've got the make and model, all the body type, the production date, all of those sorts of things, we go save. That customer has now saved and that vehicle is in our system. So now we've got this free integration with Parts Tech, right? So Parts Tech is a parts management system where you can go and look up all your uh, suppliers and all that sort of stuff. It's a free integration. Parts Tech itself is free. And we can go and look at things like if we, if we wanted to search for, say, you know, brake pads or something like that, we can go and search for uh, brake pad set and up you come with the brake pad set. So it'll bring back all of your different suppliers. You can choose your favorite supplier. You can set up Parts Tech, I'm sure. Uh, if you find out from Parts Tech all the details on that, it's really cool. Uh, what we can do is maybe add, you know, we want this CarQuest uh, set of pads, for example, and it goes and adds that pads onto our uh, checkout or onto our order pad. What we can now do is we could go and add an air filter, an oil filter, whatever, all sorts of other products from uh, this particular thing. But for the sake of this, let's just go and check this out. And what this does is we're just gonna go and submit this, and this will actually return this back in a workshop software. So as soon as we click submit quote, goes and opens up workshop software again and you'll see that that actual set of pads is automatically on there at the right price, at the right details, all that sort of stuff. Now, the other really cool thing is we can actually integrate with the parts tech labor time. So if we go into breaks and we go into the disc breaks and go into the brake pads, what that will do is that will list the actual brake pad times. And so we can see here that it's got 0.9 of an hour. So I can go and add that on and that then goes and adds that onto the booking as well. So we've got the brake pads, remove and replace labor item on here as a labor item and what you can see is that you've gone and created and built up this particular booking for this particular client. Complete disclosure here, the uh, Parts Tech Labor Times is actually a paid subscription, so you've got to buy that from Parts Tech. So I uh, just want to let you know that. The other thing that we can do is jump into what's uh, Tire Connect, and Tire Connect is a little bit like Parts Tech, but it's for tires. So the guy wants a set of tires for his particular vehicle. What we can do is jump in here. We can select the particular type of uh, item that we want. We can go and find your tyres and it'll go off and search for them and it'll go and find the tyres applicable for this particular vehicle. So this will come up with a whole list now and it's gone and checking all the inventory of the various different suppliers and so on and it'll come up with a list.
So now it comes up with things like your top recommendations. So, for example, here's Bridgestone. There's a Firestone, uh, you know, all sorts of different types of ones, Pirellis and so on and so on. So there's all sorts of different tires in here. It brings your top picks at the top. So what we can do is we can say, okay, let's see the out-the-door price of the Firestone, for example, and that will go and calculate the out-the-door price. And we're going to then go and return this back into workshop software. So this has got the uh, actual price. We've got two of them in this instance. We could change that to four or or however many one if you want you got these uh, optional services and you can turn these on and off you know if you want to you can turn turn them on or off really straightforward and what you can do is then you can actually just go and return this back into workshop software so just click this return button up the top here and what that does, that goes and returns that detail back into Workshop Software, adds that onto your booking as well. Now this could be in a job card or anything like that, but you can see here that you've got the Firestone uh, tires, you've got the install, the you know, the recycling of the tires, the valve, all that sort of stuff is all priced, all set for you already, all that sort of stuff. So the one last thing that we should do with this actual booking itself is actually set the date of the booking. So let's say the customer is going to come in maybe next week and he's going to come in on Thursday, you could actually send this off as a quote for example uh, and you can go and send this off to the customer so it's really is that simple to do all of this sort of stuff so let's go and save that and then we'll see what happens when the customer comes in so another way that we could have started a booking was got the customer to do it in the first place. So what we've got is under settings, you've got the public bookings. And in the public bookings, you've got this URL that you can go and send off to your customer and your customer can go and book in their car themselves, right? So you can set up all your own appointment types or your own service types. You can set up different settings of your bookings. You can set different colors. You can put your own image in there, all sorts of stuff that this page will look appropriate. So what we can do is we can, uh, if I actually just probably best way is go and search for Mark and and let's say this particular vehicle that we were added in before, what I want to do is I can go and send a booking request and you can do this automatically too, by the way, but it says click here to schedule your service, right? So I'm going to go and copy this link address and I'm going to go and show you what this looks like, right? So if we go and uh, go and, uh, sorry, copy the link address and I'm going to go and paste this link address in here. So this is the customer would have gotten this link, right? Now what you'll notice is that the link that, he, that the customer has opened is a public booking directory right so a public booking so in here you've got the mark, mark jowlett uh, customer you've got all these vehicle details it's already pre-populated because you've sent in the link you know who the customer is so in here you can say okay we want to come in for a uh, scheduled service for argument's sake and he might want to come in maybe next week or the week after so he's going to come on the 27th of february the booking request is done if we jump into workshop software and we just go back in here and go into the dashboard, what you'll be able to see now is that there's one booking request requiring approval. So you click on it, it opens that up, and there you see that there's Mark's booking request. So we can have a look at that, and we can do things like make sure that the date's right, so we can actually book it in on the 27th, and say, okay, the guy's gonna come in at 8.30 in the morning, and then we can go approve, right? And what we do with the approval is we then send off an email to the customer, or a text message, depending on what the customer preference was, and we can say, you know, hello, Mr. Uh, you know such and such your vehicle such and such is due for a booking on this day you know thank you for your booking we're you know looking forward to having you all that sort of stuff you can write whatever you want in here we can go send and that goes and sends that off to the customer that booking has now been turned into a booking and has been added into the booking diary so you can see how quick and effective that is and how simple that is for the from the customer's point of view they've got this really cool looking booking diary that you know gives them this sort of functionality to be able to choose whatever you want you might want to have this actual booking diary on your website you can have it on your Facebook Facebook page, you can set links to customers, you can do all that sort of stuff. And that's included in the gold level of workshop software, free with a gold level, uh, super value for money. And that's an awesome way of getting your bookings done. So once the booking's complete, what we can then do is turn it into an actual job. So if we jump in there for uh, Mark's thing, which was uh, next uh, Thursday, so we can actually come in here, we can then go and choose the uh, job for Mark and we can open it up if we like. Uh, we could assign this to a mechanic, we can do all sorts of stuff here. Uh, I won't go through this in this particular demonstration, but we could put that onto a, onto a mechanic and allocate it to a mechanic, all that sort of stuff. I'm actually going to go and start this job and then turn it into work in progress. Now that it's work in progress, what we can do now is we, we can do things like, uh, for example, I might want to go and create an inspection. So what I can do here is I can then go and jump into the inspections. So I'm going to go and do an inspection. I might want to send that inspection. I can set up all my own inspections. Uh, I'm going to go and tick these things off. So I'm going to go and say these things are all okay. So in the inspection, I've, I've ticked off a number of things, but I've said that the brake pads, I've made them red. And I'm going to say uh, pads need replacing. 
I can put in the estimated hours, it's gonna be 0.9 of an hour, and it's gonna cost uh, $105, right? And so I can send this off to the customer. So I can put uh, all, all the rest of these things, for example, as green, and I can go through this. And by the way, I could be doing this on an iPad at the vehicle, of course, uh, for this sort of you know, uh, you know, know, example, you know, that's a, that's a different sort of thing. I can go on, you know, the mechanics walking around the vehicle and away we go. So what we can do now is we can actually go and email this off to the customer. So if we go email the inspection, and I'm gonna email that to to uh, say this email address, it says important uh, information regarding your Chevrolet. Uh, you can write whatever you want in here. You can add templates. This has got an attachment. If we go and send that, that's gone and sent that off to the customer. So now I've just opened up my email and the customer has got this important information regarding this, you know, access your report, click here. So the customer goes and clicks on that link, right? And they open it up. This could be on their phone as well. So for example, if I show you and I make this a smaller, so if I look at this and it's it's this size, right? So you've got this as this sort of size. So it can be on their phone. So it's completely designed to be on the customer's phone, right? So what we can then do is the customer can reject or approve the work, right? So they go down and they see here and that says fix immediately these brake pads so we can click on approve okay the customer then puts in a verification code they can write some comments they're saying they're going to approve this one and there could be multiple things in here and so we go confirm and then that goes off and confirms that and if we jump back into workshop software and go back into the dashboard and have a look at the inspections you'll actually see that there's an approved inspection so this one here is the inspection that we did before right so now customer has approved it what we can now do is we can go here and we can go uh, approve those items and attach them back onto that particular invoice, right? So we can go and put the item onto the invoice. When we view the attached invoice, what you'll see is this inspection is actually attached to this particular uh, you know, invoice, right? So that's now got that attached on there. Now what we can do is we can get the mechanic to go and clock on and clock off the work, right? So we're gonna go and put this into work in progress. And what we have is a mobile app for mechanics to go and clock on and clock off, which is super, super simple, super easy. They can also also take some photos. So let's go check that one out. First up, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna print out the job card and show you what it looks like. So this is the job card, you might wanna print it out. Custom, yeah, the mechanic might just use it on their, uh, you know, on their particular device if they wanted to. But what I wanna show you is I wanna scan that barcode, right? So what I'm gonna do, that barcode is there so that the mechanic can clock on and clock off. So I've just gotten my phone out and I've just gone and scanned that barcode and I've gone and clocked in. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna go and take some photos, right? So I'm gonna take uh, an exciting photo of my uh, desk. So if we just go into the camera and I'm actually going to take a photo of the screen. Let's just check that out. Uh, and I'm going to go use photo. And if we go back in here and we just refresh this page, what you'll see is that I've taken a photo of the screen uh, and you'll be able to see that in here. So if we go and have a look at attachments now, you'll see that there's this image here. And so this is the actual image of the of the screen. Now, of course, this is going to be, you know, in real life, you're going to take photos of the car. You might want to take photos of any damage in the car, scratches, bumps, that sort of stuff. You've ripped out the, you know, the gearbox. You want to see the inside of the gearbox and it's got all sorts of issues with it. You can take as many any photos of you, as you want. That was just as simple. That was real time, by the way. I haven't paused that. That was just all in real time. Uh, you know, I've gone and clocked on to the job. I've gone and uh, I can go and clock out of the job now. And you'll notice here, if we go and jump down here, you can go in and enter the mechanics times, or you can see the mechanics times that you've already got entered. So you can see here, I clocked on at 2.40, clocked off at 2.42. Did that automatically on the iPhone app or the, or the Android app. Phone apps, free. All the users for the phone app is free. That comes with your subscription to workshop software. The other thing I want to show you is how this looks printed out. So if we go in here and we go and print the invoice, could email it to the customer as well. I'd probably recommend that you're going to email this off to the customer. And there are various different ways that this invoice might print. And there's lots of options for printing. And there's various things that we do for different states in America. For example, you know, uh, California, we print the BAR number and those sorts of things. Uh, that's all part of the system depending on your settings. So we've got the labor, we've got parts, we've got the tires, uh, all listed there. And then you've got the invoice. You can print that out. That's what the invoice looks like as I say you've got lots of different options with that as well so we would now go and process this what we can do is we can set a due date for when we want to follow up the customer if we want uh, what we can now do is finalize this invoice if this customer is cash uh, it will ask us for the cash 
and we can go and enter in the cash. If it's not, so this person is cash, what we can do is if we go and choose a credit card, for example, as the payment method, what we can do is we can then integrate that with our credit card processing as well. In this instance, we'll make it cash. We'll go and process this invoice that's been done. Uh, it'll go and print it out, that sort of scenario. So the invoice prints out, uh, send that off to the customer. You can go and email it to the customer, for example, uh, all of those sorts of things. And that's the workflow, the very quick overview of the workflow. So I could email that invoice off to the customer but that's the quick overview of the workflow of the actual uh, front end sales side of workshop software and that's how you do that. So the other cool thing in here, we can do supplier orders, you know, vendor, vendor invoices, you know, all of that sort of stuff. We handle mechanics. There's a heap of reports in here, lots of business reports around sales, uh, you know, item sales, sales breakup, all of that sort of stuff. There's parts reports, there's workshop reports, you know, work in progress when services are due, you know, all of those sorts of things. Uh, there's yeah, mechanic reports for mechanic performance and, you know, all of those sorts of things. Lots of different functionality in here, uh, heaps of different things. What what you can do in the dashboard is it's got a whole heap of information on the dashboard as well around you know all of the recently completed stuff there's all this analysis and graphs uh, it's this all comes with your workshop software subscription go to workshopsoftware.com if I just go and open up the workshopsoftware.com website all you need to do is you're going to need to take out a free trial it will literally take you two seconds to get up and running maybe two minutes just click on start your free trial here or here just simply put in your details you'll get an unlock code you'll put all your details details in and away you go. You will literally be up and running with workshop software in a couple of minutes and you will have this sort of functionality, all this sort of stuff. You can do things in here like uh, we can go and import data into your system. Uh, we can integrate with all of your your favorite accounting packages as well. So if you wanted to integrate with QuickBooks, uh, we're the only uh, authorized QuickBooks automotive reseller or, or integrator on the QuickBooks website. Uh, you can integrate with Zero as well. There's, there's lots of different things here. Uh, all these integrations are not notwithstanding the actual paying for the integrations themselves, but these are all free. Uh, some of them you might need to buy the actual integration. So for example, you need to buy QuickBooks if you're going to integrate with QuickBooks, but things like Parts Tech is free, Carfax is free, uh, Tire Connect is free as well, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you know, So there's lots of different things here, uh, fully fledged uh, automotive auto shop management system that will run your automotive workshop from start to, to, to end. Thanks for watching. Hope you find this valuable. There's heaps more features in here. I've just done the quick overview as quickly as I can of just some of the main features, but have a go. Take out your own free trial. There's no credit card required, nothing. Just simply go to workshopsoftware.com, click on try it free, and you're in in a couple of minutes.